So, back on the storm today. So I've been out on some mileage on it now. So this is the bike, all done, all bags on. Well, I say all done. You know what it's like when you're on a bike. <coughs> and you're doing a bike, it's never done. So, what it is, I brought these underbars. And it feels like rabbit ears to me. They feel too narrow. Feel too narrow and with a slant like that, I mean it's like this, seem to get cramp after 10 minutes. Or cramp pins and needles after about 10 minutes. So that's no good for my kind of riding. I need to be able to do long haul on it. Other than that, the bikes were sweet. Like I say, my hands like this. After about 10 15 minutes, I'm getting cramped up big time in my wrist. My hands, my hands go dead. So, yeah. So, I've gone out and brought another set of handlebars. And they're there. Next to that other set I brought. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got some well, wider ones, plus these come up straight. So, it should feel a bit better. Uh, when we are older, all bars on my hands weren't that bad I think it was mainly yeah the razors what made it look ugly because of massive razors on it so yeah so I think I'm gonna try these uh, brought these off either eBay I think it was custom cruisers I think that's where they're from uh, so yeah I'm gonna fit them today uh, good thing is there's already an hole in them for the internal wiring down for us. I've got to get all the internal wiring out of these. But before I even do that, I'm just going to drop the handlebars. Well, I'm going to undo my brake levers here and my throttle. And I'm going to see if well, I'm going to fit the new handlebars and make sure they're going to reach and feel all right. And make sure there's no tug on it because it's going to be a bit higher. They're going to come to about here when they come straight. So yeah, I'm gonna make sure they're gonna fit before I even start with the internal wiring because if I need new cables, I'll just leave these on to the board of new cables and they've turned up. So yeah, this is the bike. So first things first is undo these here. Undo my throttle, just drop them off, drop my underbars, lay them down on the front fit the new handlebars and see let's see if these cables are gonna fit if so then we'll rip all the internal wiring out of this and redo it all over again that's only down point about when you start changing handlebars and everything is you go out for about 100 mile 200 mile run and you know you just don't feel right so they may look good on the bike and look good when you're looking at buying them but practical no if it was just short journeys if i was only doing like 20 30 miles a day yeah these would do but not long ago they just crap my hands up big time all the time so no good uh you see start switch is all good uh i come with another problem and i didn't realize my fuel gauge stopped working after doing all this internal wiring and that and I thought have I done something wrong so I ripped it all apart again checked all the wiring and that that's all good uh, my fuel light works and everything when I'm running low but my blocks on my gauge and my mileage and that ain't working so I did some research and it comes up as because I've disconnected my clutch uh, cut off on my, cl my clutch switch and I've just wired them together it needs to be separated for your fuel gauge to work never heard of that before but that's what they're saying and all I've done is connect them together underneath 
So that's going to need to go to a switch. I was thinking of running it to my neutral light. So when my neutral light's on, the bike will start. Then when it's at a neutral, it turns that switch off. So my fuel gauge will work. So I've that on when I run it to my main beam. So I just hit my main beam, beam beams on, start the bike, turn my main beam off. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how we're going to go with that. Not sure I'm running that yet. Uh, I was tempted to run it to a separate spread. There's a separate switch on the bike, so really it's a safety feature. If you don't know where that switch is, the bike ain't starting. So, yeah, might go that route yet. But yeah, I say this is the bike. It's all good. Just these handlebars and that fuel gauge. Fuel gauge is a bit of a pain because when you're doing longer, and you're miles away from the fuel station and your light comes on, you think, fuck. Well, at least if you got a gauge, you got a rough idea and the miles you got there. So, yeah, let's get these ripped off, put the new ones on, and see if I need new cables. There's the new ones. I've just got the old ones laying on there because it's still got the wiring in. That's so I've got to make sure they're in a fit. But, yeah. Massive, yeah, proper massive. I don't know if these cables are gonna fit, but yeah, I think they look better as well. I don't need to come forward and have a think, but yeah, let's see if these cables fit. So, yeah, cables are gonna fit as long as they're on the inside. So it means we've got to come back from the front and come out the rear area. So, yeah, this should fit. I don't know to take them on the inside, not the outside. But they look fat and massive, man. They look a hell of a lot better. Just got to level that bottom up at that level. Then we'll start running these cables through. So I think, yeah, we're going to go with these, try these ones. How do you feel after a couple of hundred miles? If these don't work, then the bull bars are going back on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's get this internal wiring messed around with. Can't be bothered with it, really can't. But yeah, go get it done. Alright, so I've done one already. All you need to do this internal, a bit of string. Now we put a little nut on the end and just tear the bars off and just shake it through. But because I've got a airline, what I'll do give it some play like this from the string, tuck it in the hole. You got it in the hole like that. Put the airline in. And it just blows it straight through. That's how you do it anyway. So, let's say it's easy enough. There we go. And all I do, put it back. We'll tangle this. Normally it goes straight through and it just pops out the other side. But, for some reason, 
and decided to tangle his ass up. And I forget it. Alright, there. Yes. <laughs> Snip it there. Bend that bit. So that's my bottom there. And before I do it, I'll just, just take it around like this. So it don't pull through when I'm messing around. It's a little tie. And I'll do the same at the top, like that side. Just cut the string there. Just put it in a little loop, just so it don't pull through when you're messing around doing other stuff. So yeah, and that's how I do it. So then all I want to do is connect the cables this side and pull them straight through with a string. Same so with that side, connect the wires, pull them straight out of the bottom with a string. So what I do, I'll, I'll tie this onto my wires, make sure it's nice and tight, and wrap some electrical tape around it so I can give it a bit of a tug without it coming off. But yeah, that's there. I say it's come out of the bottom in the middle, tied it there, and that's that one there. Still need to tie that one off. But yeah, there we go. So now. Well, I know I need two wires for this side for me brake light switch and I need shit loads of wires for this side so what I'm going to do is lift my tank up disconnect all the wires from underneath there again then pull these wires out of this handlebar because it's straight to the switch these wires are on I'm going to pull them out and see if it's long enough to go through these handlebars here down to here, then I'll join them again at the bottom. Uh, this one, I just run two wires through, got plenty of wire. So yeah, let's get all this disconnected, all this wiring. So there we go. Tie your string and the end of your wire. Now I'm gonna do is tape that onto there like that. Just tape it up and can pull it through. So yeah, then I'll feed it through. And when you're feeding it through this side, pull the string this side until it comes out the other side. So just wiring up the brake light on the brake switch. So that's one done. Just doing the other one now. Uh, when I'm doing these, is these connectors here, I'll pull the ends off here and I'll use some. There's string stuff here yeah, just to cover it. So, yeah, that's how I do it anyway. I pull these off because there's still a load of crap these damn bits are. And I can crush that a lot better. So, yeah, that's how I do it. So, there we go. And the bars fitted, new end bars. And the wiring's done. I probably could need another inch on the accelerator. But it don't pull in that when I steer. It's just a bit, yeah. But I reckon another inch, two inch would be better. So I might order one. It will do. Don't get me wrong, it will do. But yeah. So there's that number of plate lights done. They look massive, man. There we go. Another set, we'll see how these go. And if it feels crap, then have a buy another set. We'll put the old bull balls back on. Don't know yet, we'll see. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today. So it was just a quick video just to show changing the end of bars yet again. Anyway, catch you next time. Stay safe.